guys, this is Emma from React to the K, and welcome to my Astro's All Light album first listen. So the first thing you might be wondering is, where is your all night reaction? And I actually have to start being picky with what I personally react to. Not only do I have to be picky with the Classical Musician series, but me too, because I am taking an overload of credits, so I have a lot, a lot of schoolwork to do, and so therefore I don't have enough time to react to every single song release, so I have to take a little listen to every song before I decide whether, you know, to film my reaction or not. Um, and with All Night, I, while listening to it, I was very, very critical, and I didn't want to post only a negative critical video. Um, rather, I would, I'd rather post, you know, something where I'm excited and, you know, I have a lot of things to talk about. So. I do with this album, and you're probably wondering why I'm not with my React partner, Kevin. He is out of town for a film festival, so I'm going at this alone, and Bloom is on the React series, so I would have kicked him off of the camera anyways for me to just talk about that song. I have listened to Bloom. I have not re-listened to Bloom. I've listened to Bloom like twice to figure out what was going on in it, and I didn't re-listen to it. So I'm familiar with what happens in it, but I'm not 100% familiar, so I'll still be a tiny bit well, I'll be super excited because I love the song. Anyways, yeah, it's my favorite Astro song. Um, but there are a few, I've heard Starry, Sky, and Moonwalk, maybe like 20, 30 seconds of each song, and I want to talk about them. And the rest of the album I haven't heard at all. So, yeah, let's get to it, starting with Starry Sky. Starry Sky! When it first started out, I thought... Oh, I forgot about that. So it's minor, it starts off minor. And then it goes major! <laughs> minor. Da, da, major. Major three. Major. So much modal mixture. And I love the background vocals. Okay, introducing the low voice. Mmm, yeah. As we're building to the chorus. Just kidding. See, when people are leading up to courses, they either like speed up the percussion or they, <laughs> they trick me and they take everything out. I wonder if they're gonna bring back that snare drum roll that they kind of started the song off with. I like that chord change with the vocal over it. Not quite expected. Ah! Major gets me every time. There's some really ethereal sense going on in the background. Sorry, I keep freaking out whenever the melody or a chord is a major. <laughs> it adds like a... Oh, that's perfect! They named it Starry Sky. Because the major adds like a sparkling vibe to it almost. It could be like the major representing stars, right? But the minor key of the song is like the dark night. So it's mostly dark, mostly minor, but with sprinkles of major, sprinkles of stars. Twinkly piano. Oh, that was minor. And then it went major. What's happening? They faked us out again. I feel like the chord progression right now could, like it, I haven't heard it often, but it could have gone the mainstream way, but it didn't. It's nice. It keeps changing between sections too. Yeah, 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 supporting major. Ooh! I actually did not remember that song at all. I must have listened to only 10 seconds of it or something. Oh my god, I like that. I like that a lot, and it was the perfect length. The major, I guess, mostly came back during the verses, and then that bridge was the piano part. 
I think what happened was it was playing a melody in major and then it it like the high the right hand on the piano like leaped up to a, a lowered note aka something in the minor scale and so it felt you know brought down almost and it like really stood out amongst all the other notes so I was like whoa that was weird anyways okay moonwalk the first three songs have to do with nighttime because there's Starry Sky, All Night, and Moonwalk. And then the album's called All Light. Interesting. Is it a, a light evening that they're referring to? Okay, anyways, Moonwalk. I think this is the one where I wanted to talk about the underlying rhythm. Let's see. Let's do this. Oh, I haven't heard this yet. I haven't heard this yet, and I hadn't heard Starry Night. I was listening to the album backwards before. So I think it was Merry Go Round that I had heard. Yeah, a little bit of After Bloom. Triple it, triple it, triple it. Da, 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 da. Oh, and then it went to Duval, that's cool, and then it went major again. Is this, is this album just full of modal mixture? Is that what, is that what you're doing? <laughs> Major. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I, I like the lower percussion rhythm because it's like da 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 and then it goes syncopated so it changes like three or four times. It doesn't just keep the exact same thing every single time it comes back. See, that's minor. But then the vocals sometimes go into major. Oh, I didn't notice that guitar. Is that a guitar? I mean, we have a guitar underneath it. Oh, I love that rhythm, the syncopated. It was da 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 da. And now we're less syncopated. Except we have like the sometimes syncopated, oh, da da, major and then minor. Every single time I want to talk about something, then something else happens, and I'm not able to talk about it. Ooh, we get another section. Octaves. We've got some falsetto on. Dude singing down here. We still have that big guitar. Da 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 and then leaped. I thought you would go da 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 you know, just keep climbing up like that and then get high. But he went da 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 da. Okay. It's getting tiny bit repetitive. Like, I'm used to this vibe. We've been at this vibe for a while. Like, this dynamic level and copy paste of instrumentals. So, I guess that was the bridge. I thought that was gonna be the outro. Where went. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, I am so happy. I'm so excited. I was excited by both those tracks and I'm sure I'll notice more the more I listen to them because I'm buying those. I'm buying those songs for sure. Um, but okay. Uh, so what I liked during some of the verses is that they had a rhythm. Like that one time when I pointed out triple it, triple it, triple it, uh, triple it, triple it, triple it, uh, and then the melody was gonna repeat and sometimes pop songs phrase melodies in a way where or like phrase two different phrases by just repeating the same exact thing but with different lyrics so like same melody same rhythms so it went like triple it triple it triple it and then it went da 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 so it, even though it was I think I think it was the same notes but it was a different rhythm and instead of, you know, like copy pasting over what they had before. So I thought that was a really nice touch. And now we are moving on to Treasure, which I have not heard before. Oh. Well, you also have major minor qualities to your song. A lot of reverb on that one song. Ooh. Again, twinkly sounds with a high piano. That, 
Okay, so it goes da, and then it goes da, pa, da, da, pa, in that section. It almost sounds like it's like a percussion hit, but with like, with reverb, but backwards reverb on it or something. I like how this, yeah, this percussion beat, you can easily feel it in double time or common time. Cause it has three, four, one, two, three, four, but the bass does da 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 and then also vocal melody is moving at the speed too. So you can also jam along to that. Yeah, see? Pa, da, sha, da, pa. Piano. <laughs> Pretty harmonies. Ooh, they varied the whistle. <laughs> Ooh! I can't tell if there was like a. Like, you know, one of the sounds or was a. Whoop! Bruh! Yeah, so this one isn't as harmonically adventurous as the other two songs which played between major and minor. And this one copy pasted the instrumentals in each section. And I'll pay attention more to the vocal melody to see whether they vary that at all. Bridge. They know the texture, but they keep most of the same instrumentals and just take out the percussion. Yeah, they use that piano fade in before. Beautiful background vocals. Start building. I like the high note harmony. Thirds. Ah! Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. So much reverb. Yeah, so that song played it very safe harmonically and rhythmically. We didn't have too thick of a texture, but I think it fit for the vibe and the message that that song was trying to give out to the fans and just like saying, you're my treasure. So it was, wasn't was unexpected and it was comforting in a way since it didn't do anything weird. But that also means I don't have too much to say about it. Um, we'll just move on to the next one, which is role play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the conversation between the main vocal line and the background vocals, and the background vocals are continuing into this section. I'm a sucker for for background vocals that interact well with the, with the main melody and also that have harmonies. Those are thick harmonies. Hello, new synth, little bass synth. Is, or no, that's a guitar. I don't know why I lean forward because leaning forward won't make me hear this song any better. Yeah, that's a guitar. Yeah, I'm enjoying the thick vocal harmonies in this song. And the vocal harmonies in the background vocals because the main melody doesn't have any harmonies. Sometimes they harmonize it towards the end of a phrase, which is a pop songwriting technique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that leap up. Ew, I like this vocalist. I, I like how they only introduce this guitar, or at least bring it out for one, one specific section that, you know, that returns. But it creates contrast 
from the section before it. And this song also has nice contrast between just staying in this range and then That was nice. The guitar solo, it would, it was slow rhythms. It was da 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 da. Run 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 run. Da 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 da. Faster 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 faster. <laughs> One last repetition of the chorus, except with four different lyrics. I believe. So we kept the guitar in. Was this guitar in this section before? I'm just gonna quickly check to see when exactly the gu guitar appears in that song. The bass guitar. Okay, it starts off with acoustic guitar. It might just be the acoustic guitar, but just the lower strings. Yeah, no, it doesn't, that specific guitar line doesn't appear in every single section. And I think it's the first time it appears in that section which the song ended with. So I, I enjoyed the fact that they didn't use that on loop throughout the entire song. Um, also, I always wonder, because you heard the members sing certain notes in falsetto and then they'd sing the same exact notes belting or in chest voice, I'm not sure, quite sure of the vocal technical terms, um, but I, I'm always curious, maybe like the songwriters, why they choose to go into falsetto versus, you know, belting it out when they can hit the notes in either type of voice. I'm guessing it has to do with lyrics and it has to do with phrasing, but I'd, I'd like to someday, like, you know, just talk with a songwriter who writes the top lines of songs and just say, hey, so uh, when you choose an artist to sing a certain note in falsetto when they can actually hit it, not in falsetto, why? Why do you decide to do that? Anyways, okay. One in a million. Isn't there a twice song called One in a Million? <clears throat> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. That's S and SD went into the new world. Might be in the same key or it's just the same. We'll check afterwards or it's just the same intervals. Hi guys, sorry my camera died, but we're back at it. Oh, and since we're paused, I might as well just check to see if that's in the same, playing the same notes as into the new world. No, okay, so it's lower. Okay, anyways, let's continue. Oh, hello, guitar. We're building. And the percussion comes in. So does the auto tune. Yeah, this is like party, fun concert song where the members like run around the stage and interact with fans. That's cool because I can't remember, I don't think it was the da 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 Yeah, it has changed a little bit. It's kept the main da 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 But it was da 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 It goes like da 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 I think it changed, maybe I might be making that up. Da 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 There's like really quiet percussion and now it's obviously in. Okay, it keeps 
changing that main synth line a little bit up. I was like, yeah, it went up. Rep first, and they thin the texture down so you can pay more attention to the flow of the rappers. But you rising synth in the background. I think those were synth strings. Was that a synth violin sample? Oh my god, there are strings! Okay, it's gone! But it kind of continued. Wait, let me see if I put my ear buds right. No, I didn't. So on the left channel, after that, da -da -da -da, the synth would double with some other synths, but it like continued to like so, like really back in the mix. Okay, that song was very much to its point. It's like a party, upbeat. Um, the percussion was, and the synths were, you know, going at a faster, uh, 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 tempo. We didn't have too much syncopation. We didn't have any unpredictable key changes or, um, modal mixture. It was enjoyable and energetic. And so it did what it set out to do. Love wheel time. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh, it kept changing. I thought it was going to repeat the beginning. And then it changes. That's a, that's a long progression. Can't there. The interval between da 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 is. Sorry, that last two notes were wrong, but um, reminds me of something. Ooh, I like the bass that they introduced in the very bottom. The the second hit, yeah, that the ta the higher pitch. That's something. I'll remember afterwards. But that second hit was like drowning in reverb. It was like. <laughs> Starting off slower rhythms, doubling the rhythm. Yeah, I could. They didn't necessarily have any swell dynamic, even though they sped up the percussion. I kind of knew it wasn't going to be a drop. Yeah, I like the vocal layering on the rapping. That was thick. They almost, I think they layered it with two or three other voices. Might have been two other voices. Chord progression change because this is the bridge of the song. Thank you for changing the chord progression. They like started off with an eight. Wait, what did you do? I think it was like an eight measure or. I'll explain it after the song is over. <laughs> there's several vocal tracks going on right now. Because there's background vocals and then harmonies and maybe an octave on the main line. Yep, one more repeat to end the song of this melody. That's what they've done on quite a few songs in this album so far. <laughs> Again, ending it with a single note in the vocals with lots of reverb. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about was, so the piano part, 
the song is in 4-4 time, common time meaning it's full of duple rhythms. And on sheet music, it would be grouped in rhythms of four quarter notes. So the piano line went on for four measures, 16 beats. That's how long that chord progression lasts in the beginning. And then it repeats. And then once we hit the chorus or the pre-chorus, I believe the chord progression, the new chord progression, only lasts two measures, aka eight beats. I think, da, 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 da. Is that, isn't that like a Disney song? Heart Brew Love. Oh, is this gonna be a hip hop song? Minor key. Hello, Hawk Cry. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be a hip-hop song. <laughs> if the vibe lightened up once the vocals came in. Still building. This is a very long build. You can almost tell that I started building from the second the song started. Crunching chords. Okay, I like this drop because yeah, there's rest between the synth hits. Da 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 da. Half time already. Mm. Was that a synth doubling or did they add some effects on the vocals? Keeping the high five. Maybe that wasn't a half time that we went to. We were in double time and this is calm time. Sparkly synths in the right channel. I like how the sparkly synths are panned. We have a sparkly synth in the right channel and we have a sparkly synth in the left channel. Ta -da. Ta -da -da. Harmonies. Oh my god. This track is so, it's so, it's so energetic. Whew. I'm almost getting tired from the, how much energy is radiating from the music. It's just it's so fast. There's so many layers. I'm honestly glad that they ended the song with Boom because it's like, it's so refreshing to hear a ballad after all these fast-paced, energetic songs in the middle of the album. Oh, I like that. It's like almost limping per also that sounded like a brass sample sample brass wannabe but I really liked that rap uh, transition ah, ba, 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 ba. I like how they end the chorus oh Yes, okay, I really, really, really liked that rap section. That might join the playlist of my favorite rap parts in K-pop songs. It's so fast-paced. He's kind of sticking around one note, but he's adding inflections, not quite changing tone. And then what I loved about that section was the fact that Sometimes it's like it was like kind of half chant half rap section because when you got like a bunch of voices going together like hey or like blah blah blah, blah like you know uh, speaking together it's what you know we call like a chant breakdown or something um, but it came in and doubled s some of his words towards the end of his phrase so I yeah I thought that was really cool and I haven't heard that before like a group of voices doubling a singular rap. Er, that was cool. Okay, merry-go-round is what I wanted to talk about with the underlying rhythm. Can't remember what the rhythm was, but I remember I was. <laughs> okay, let's go, merry-go-round. Two. 
three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, swung, swung, swung. It's swung, swinging, swinging. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, really fast, swing, ah. Uh. Da, 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 da. So, once the bass drum comes in with a duple rhythm, and the vocal line is singing duples. I couldn't tell whether that was duple or swung. Da, 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 but now it's swinging. But that one section, since both the vocals and the lower percussion weren't swinging, you could almost feel that section in duple, even though the piano was sticking to the swung offbeat rhythms. Da, 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 Just any song with a really fast-paced swing. It's just so nice. Because <laughs> you, so many of your rhythms can easily be on an offbeat. And it's smart because I, I think a lot of musicians consider triplets or um, a swung feeling to be circular. So this song being called Merry Go Round, which is you know with the ride that goes in a circle, text painting, not swung. We're duple. Because triple it, triple it, it doesn't fit in, right? It's all you can hear it feel is subdivisions of two or four. I love the piano part. It's kind of swelling. And then the rap started swelling too. And now we're back. Mixed meter, y'all. Oh, which might be hinting at the mixed meters in Bloom. And what I mean, I might not be using that term correctly, so don't quote me on it. But like, it goes from swung to definitely duple, and the next song has some weird time signature stuff too. Yes! So I've said all that I wanted to say about that song during it. So now it's time for Bloom! <laughs> so I had a hard time counting the beginning orchestral part and so I reached out to my composer friend and I was like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> um, and he, people have already seen me. If you're following me on Twitter, you've already seen me tweet about this. So if you can read sheet music or if you're a musician, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm so sorry. Maybe you can just Google time signatures. <laughs> if you have time. Um, but so the song, the orchestral aspect, we have no percussion. So if it's kind of hard to feel the pulse of the instrumentation. It starts off in 4-4, four, four, then it goes to 2-4, then 4-4, four, four, then 3-4, and then it goes four bars of 4-4, four, four, and then it goes into 6-8, which is a compound meter. That's when you start feeling the triplets. And then it goes into 5-8. I've never heard a pop song in 5-8. Like, I mean, the 5-8 doesn't stick throughout the whole song, but it has three whole bars of 5-8. And when I first listened to this, I was like, what just happened? What, what, what just happened? I don't know how to feel this. And so I kept replaying it over and over and over. And I was like, wait, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, or one, two, one, two, three. I can't remember. Um, it's, it's, it's in five, eight. There's five pulses. What? There's like, uh, Ijina did a song in seven, eight. And then there are songs in like 12, eight and six, eight, and then four, four and two, four. Those are the most common. But yeah, this, I heard some of the Astro members, uh, compose this, so if that was their idea, whoo, thank you. <laughs> um, I will do my best to conduct the beginning. I haven't practiced this, so it might be completely wrong or I might mess up, so I apologize, but I will try. One beautiful chime, the wind chimes. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Four, five, six. Oh, then it stays in six, eight. Sorry. One. Oh, and then like the little. I forgot what my dad. My dad's a guitar player, but I know nothing about guitar. I I love. Oh, it doesn't do it the second time. Three, four, five, six. Mm. 
new instrumentation, and we finally have some percussion with the snaps, and we have some background vocals. Three, four, five, six, and it goes back to three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, one, 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 two, if I'm so I'm going to be showing the classical musicians react series to this and if they don't catch that it like changes meters I'm gonna be like behind the camera <laughs> But I'm glad that they didn't introduce the strings right away after the string introduction introduction because they had strings just guitar and voices and thicken the texture a little bit more and then a until the electric guitar part where it went into 5-8, then they introduced the strings. I like that. Hit, hit, rest. Hit, hit. And the string part is constantly evolving. And it... Tremolo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you make things dramatic, is you take out the percussion, or just like the underlying rhythm, and you let it flow for a little bit, and then you just hit, hit, hit. <laughs> and then we modulate! With the, ah, ah, With the vocals. The high note belt. And we got like, you know, the whole group singing in unison. I'm not sure whether we just changed keys or whether we had just like a little sidestep before going into the section. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, six, retard and last chord. Oh, it fades out. It does it kinda it doesn't necessarily have like a very strict ending, but that like that was a nice decrescendo at the end. Retard, sorry, I said retardando, it's retardando. Retardando, by the way, means to slow down gradually. There's a lot of ballads in K-pop, just like there's a lot of, you know, songs of other genres, but this is one of the ones that sticks out to me. There's a handful that are in compound meter, but there are none that have that, you know, have the five hour breakdown with electric guitar and especially I don't think the electric guitar ever came back Like the acoustic guitar I think stayed under the texture of the strings and they introduced the Drum set and then I think the strings were real. The strings sounded really good um, I wasn't annoyed at all by the texture of the strings. So this I feel stands out amongst the hundreds of other ballads that there are in the K industry and I, I love it, the vocal power, the variation in the guitar part, as it, conti as it continues, there really wasn't much copy pasting at all throughout this song. It was, I just thought it was very well written and creatively done and definitely my favorite Astro song, period. Um, but I think I'm going to purchase Starry Sky and Moonwalk 2 off this album because those impressed me too. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this very long first listen, and I guess I will see you guys later. Bye.